Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jay DeMonkey. We're back here in Rust. We're talking about a technique to do fast loot or quick progression. This pertains to everybody. This pertains to the PC players and the future players, hopefully soon, the uh, console players for the beta. That's for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, uh, as the beta is just around the corner for them. And uh, yeah, I got I kind of put this together um, messing around, and this is definitely useful right now. And hopefully, um, by the time the console players see this, hopefully we're playing this actively in the beta. So uh, if that is the case, be sure to uh, see if I'm live streaming this. And uh, both me and RazorTube and BioLaser, we are the boyfriend squad. We will be playing this quite a bit. But yeah, this pertains to everybody, PC players. Um, what is it? <laughs> the Xbox, the PlayStation 4. I couldn't think. I was like, what? This, this is pretty crazy. Now, this will make sense. I'm going to go ahead and start to do this, and I'll explain this as we are picking up the last section. Now, there's only a few things you need, and it may sound a little crazy, but st stick with me. So the on your map, you're going to need a launch site. Um, some of the maps don't spawn them in as things are procedural. Um, you will need a rad suit, and you will need some bandages, some food, and you really don't need much else. You probably want to stick a sleeping bag around somewhere, but you do need 40 F1 grenades. Now, I know that sounds insane, but stay with me. Stay with me. And um, you will need some fish traps and 80 trout. I know that sounds weird, but I'm, t I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's crazy. So you can do this day one. You literally don't have to have a workbench. You don't have to have anything. It sounds crazy. It is crazy. All right, I'm going to try to fly there quickly and get this started. Now... I am on a ooh, I am on a test server. But I am trying to do this quickly and show you with no um I have to be careful. Okay, so the launch site has the Bradley in it, and the Bradley has some pretty high tier loot. As it were. I'm trying to get close but not shot, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, I think I said the Bradley. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So the trick here is to actually take down the Bradley with little to nothing. And again, I said 80 trout, and I'm sticking with it. And you need 40 F1 grenades. I, uh, I have, what, 50-ish? Um, Usually you want to get 50 in total just because you can have some issues where the Bradley gets out of range or you might miss a few because it's all about staying in cover with this. Hopefully the Bradley comes... Okay, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's getting, getting squirrely. All right, we need to pull its attention... And we need to hide behind this hill because it has really good cover. I think it's coming this way. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, boy. That is terrifying. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We have it right in front. If we can take it off, we can get it to sit right there. I think you know where this is going. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. We made contact. I'm going to heal. And you basically just throw 40 grenades on this thing. And I'll explain once we blow up the Bradley because we have to wait five minutes for the fire to cool off i'll show you how and why this makes sense we're talking day one stuff and these bradley's drop some crazy good loot not only for like i think i'm missing it okay that time i got it that's why i spawned in a few more we'll actually go and make the purchase and show you what those are i hear it moving okay we're definitely hitting it See, this mount is perfect. If you do it on the inside, it gets a little squirrely on the inside. It has a tendency to want to engage. But if you notice, when you attack it here, it stays on the rails and just wants to stay there and shoot you when it can. You just keep throwing them in. When you make 40 contacts to it, it's going to take 40. And I couldn't believe it either until I tried it. <laughs> We're getting there. I want to go up there and peek, but I'm just going to get smoked. Hi. You gotta be careful. You wanna make sure you got enough heals. You don't need a medical pen, but it does help. But again, I think the hardest thing to do is to just get your rad suit because this area uses uh, has some high rads. Radiation damage. Okay, we're getting close. I think we're like, what, halfway-ish? Don't you dare move, Bradley! Okay, I ticked it off. Okay, you see how it looked at me? Don't move! Oh my goodness, that hurt. <laughs> okay, we're going to heal. <laughs> oh boy. We just want to keep it. Oh, look, it's already burning. Hey! And we'll show you how to get these F1 grenades. I promise you, it's it's crazy, like, easy to get. I know, I said, I know I've said crazy a lot, but it is. It's 
It'll blow your mind. Hey, actually, having that black smoke helps a lot. Okay, so when this pops, it'll take five minutes on the nose to loot it completely when there's no fire. That's going to hurt you. It takes a little bit longer to actually harvest the husk, which is worth it. It is high quality. So I'm going to show you a few things here after we actually take it out. It's moving. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, we need it to come back. Oh my goodness, that was right past my face. Okay, we need to lure it back in. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, that's super scary no matter how you cut it. Okay, we almost have this. We have this thing on the ropes. And <laughs> we just need to throw a few more at it. We need to do it safely. Usually you can get it to sit right here and then lob shots on it. But it's getting all, it's playing all hard to get. All right, so let me try to explain some of this as we... I don't know how to engage this thing and not get smoked, to be honest. Usually we get it to sit right here. Okay, Bradley. Okay, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Heal, baby! I'm trying to use just regular heals to show you that this can be done. Can I get up? Let me try a Hail Mary one. Go! Let me move over here and see if we can get it to move over just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, it's in range. Obviously, when you see the dark smoke, it's close. Come on. You always want to hear that, like, extra sound that you're making contact. It's got to be so close. Come on. Yes. Okay, from this point forward, we need five minutes. That's why I didn't explain the front half of this yet, to show you where the grenades come from and why it's so easy to get. Now, we're looking at, uh, what is it, like, 11 minutes? So we're looking at, like, 16. Okay, so you're probably asking yourself, hey, okay, great, but how do I get so many grenades if I have nothing? You don't even need a base for this. Okay, so... You need roughly 320 scrap, but really you need, if you're going to have 50, you're going to want to have uh, 400 scrap. And again, it's that's not terribly hard to get, but you don't want to take away from your progression when you're playing, right? So one of the places you can, you can go to actually exchange things for scrap is the bandit camp. And the bandit camp is the key to this whole thing. Actually, trout is. Let me go ahead and show you what the trout, what I'm talking about. So before you get started, you want to make sure you have roughly five or more fish traps that have human flesh in them, just because human flesh is so easy to get to. If you're playing, if I don't get shot in the back, um, you'll oftentimes force respawn yourself and harvest your own body with a bone knife, and you'll have a lot of extra human meat left behind. And you can eat it, but it dehydrates you. But one of the great things is, is you can harvest bone with it, but you can also stick that human meat inside the fish traps. And the fish traps slowly over time will gather this, which isn't bad because if you eat it, look, it makes bone. And as we all know, bones are in high demand because you make bone arrows. But you'll get these trout that come with it too. And as soon as you have 80 trout, just 80, you can go to the bandit camp, right? So you can actually set these up. Go do what you normally do. Collect 80 trout, right? And I'm just using human meat. And occasionally I have to repair these with wood because they do take damage slowly over time. I think one of these did. There we go. This one did. And if you take 80 trout and take it to the bandit camp, you can make yourself 400 scrap. Now, this has higher implications than just doing the Bradley run, right? Because um, if you can get scrapped that quickly, oh my goodness. And again, this pertains to everybody as the uh, council beta is coming just around the corner. I think I have roughly 80. We'll do like 10 or whatever. Okay, we got a lot of stinky fish. Okay, now you just find the local bandit camp. Now remember, it's just like the outpost. You want to make sure you haven't murked anybody. And you can go there and do your trade-in. Now, um, this is just like a helicopter crash site. There is a debris field. <laughs> debris field. <laughs> when the debris field's up, everybody can see it. Um, it's not terrible because not a lot of people hang around the, the, um, the launch site. 
and the Bradley's always shooting at people, so people may not be pulled to it like they are a helicopter crash site. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to head to the bandit camp. I'm going to go ahead and mark it on the map real quick. I can find it. And again, it'll be different for you as these maps are procedural. And you're about to just have your mind blown. Now, this could change over time. Um, and I'm sure they'll nerf this to some degree, but this... As long as this is like a, a game loop, and even if they nerf it, this is still going to be a viable option. It's just really effective right now. And with the closed, closed beta, yeah, closed beta just around the corner, um, I, had, I have a strong suspicion. Jeez, I, my voice keeps cracking. I'm like, uh, I have a high suspicion that um, puberty is around the corner. That this will be available for us in the beta. Um, and again, since we get the same version that the PC does, any adjustments to the PC version will also translate. Okay, so now we're just going to come in here and check out the last shoppy, which is, I think, I think it's this dude right here. Yep, it's this one. Okay, I just don't want to crash the helicopter. And again, you can do this all on foot, too. I'm just doing this because it's a bit quicker. Um, it looks like we're almost, the debris field should be clear of fire here in a minute. So we're just going to do this really fast. If you go up here, you'll see that trout is traded in for five scrap. Yeah. They will buy your trout and give you scrap. Is that insane? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. And it won't take you long if you have five or more traps and you're out there doing what you normally do. You will get this in no time. So really, you just need 400. Uh, we have more than that there. And then you go over here, and then you buy your F1 grenades at the bandit camp. If you look right here, the F1 grenade is sold for 8 scrap. And it's just down the line here. Uh, insane! And the bandit camp, again, is just like the outpost. You have to make sure you don't attack anybody. And you'll have um, a cooldown. So look at this. You buy them 10 at a time. Buy one. And they actually stack higher this way, too. Look at this. We just bought all of the grenades we just used. It's that easy. And so, yeah, this works for the bandit camp, or uh, this works for just doing the Bradley run, but this also works equally for just progressing quickly. And wait till you see the loot we get at the crash site. Okay, so you get the idea. You buy uh, 50 of those. Yeah, 50 is a good number. It's 40 exactly, but again, with you hiding behind the hill and whatnot, it makes it rather difficult to precisely get it at 40 every time. Okay, let's see if we can make it back there and not get smoked. I'm going to put it right there. We're just going to follow our yellow marker. Now, oh, man, I cannot wait for this to come to council. I'm so excited. Again, I hope that by the time you guys are watching this, the council people, that we are actually experiencing the beta. And again, it's coming at the same time for both PlayStation 4 and the Xbox. But PC players, heck, we can use this like today. Yeah, because the Bradley's always been really hard to take down. And knowing that you can take it down with 40 F1 grenades and that you can buy them at the camp is super awesome. I have to be careful. There's SAM sites here. I'm going to have to play it really low. The debris field should be there, and it should be clear by now. I should be able to land here safely, in theory. Uh, actually, the house, the structure there to my left with the silos or liquid containers, those are the ones that have the missiles on top, so you got to be really careful. Okay, hopefully this didn't despawn while we were away. So yes, this is showing up on the map for everybody else, but again, this is such a low-key area most of the time that you should be able to get away with this because, again, the Bradley pones people left and right, and you need high-level uh, radiation protection. In this case, the rad suit has 50. You can do this with other types of clothing, but it does require you to have some BPs and be a little bit more progressed. But for the most part, you can just... I mean, a rad suit's very common, Heck, you can even maybe finagle your way or steal one from another player and get it pretty quickly just by doing standard runs. And again, we just rebought all of the F1 grenades we just used. And uh, hopefully we get a good roll on this. Usually we get three crates. See these big crates? They're going to offer you... Oh, yes. Okay. I just want you to take this in. We're going to throw these on the ground just so we can see the type of loot we're getting for this. But just know that we got all of that with fish, just trout. Okay, so we're going to open this up. We got a computer. That's weak sauce. Actually, this is going to be a bad roll, isn't it? Oh, my C4? What? And then we have what? What else? An armored door. So actually, this one's pretty weak. We've gotten guns out of there. We've gotten ammo. But you can do this over and over. Not to mention, you can harvest this husk for high-quality metal 
just boom off the rip. And so this is this is the way we're doing the Bradley runs now to get quick loot on day one, whether it's wipe day or you come in late to the wipe and you want to do this run because most people are worried about oil rig and other uh, monuments and stuff. So this really helps you springboard. Man, it just thinks that we got a, a poor roll on this one, but I, I promise you the rolls, this is actually about as low as it gets, but I mean, C4 and an armored door, okay. And some computers, heck yeah. So yeah, just know this is the lowest tier loot that you'll get. And just know it only goes up from here. We've gotten guns out of there, bullets, uh, tech trash, you name it. It's, uh, it's always worth it to do it. And just knowing that you got this from Trout, makes this extremely worth it. So this is our take on fast loot, quick progression, and the current version of Rust, and for the future version, uh, hopefully soon, soon, for the beta version for PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And uh, hopefully you guys found this useful, helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, and be sure to check out my other playlist, my Rust videos playlist. I'll go ahead and link it now in the upper right-hand corner. We've got information on the Rust beta, and uh, our most recent information on the Rust beta when that's coming. And again, uh, hopefully we're playing it. And uh, also things to help you out if you're a new player, whether you're on PC or console. No matter what console, because, hey, uh, crossplay is going to happen, if you didn't know. Look at this. I know we got, like, a crazy armored base here, but, like, the fact that this came from fist traps is insane. It is. It's crazy. It's nutty, dude. Look at this. We've already got the trout cooking over here. Trout for C4. Trout for Armored Door. And really, you just need 80. Just 80. Anyways, okay. We'll uh, we'll hopefully see you in the next video and or live stream. So uh, we'll check you out later. Uh, peace. All right.